Ever wondered where in the universe we might find life similar to ours? The answer might be closer than you think. The cosmos is vast, unfathomable, teeming with billions of galaxies, each one home to billions of stars. Among these, could there be stars that support life as we know it? Astronomer Margaret Turnbull seems to think so. She spent a good chunk of her career sifting through the cosmos, seeking out stars that just might be the perfect hosts for habitable stellar systems. Now you might be wondering what makes a star a potential haven for life. Well, Turnbull has a few key criteria. First off, the star needs to have been around the block a few times. It needs to be at least 3 billion years old, you see. Stars younger than that are thought to be too fresh for planets and life to evolve. Secondly, size matters. The star shouldn't be more than one and a half times the mass of our sun. Anything bigger, and things might get a bit too hot for comfort. And last but not least, we need to consider metal content. Not heavy metal, mind you, but elements heavier than helium. The star needs to have at least 40% of the sun's metal content. With these criteria in mind, Turnbull has narrowed down her search to a handful of stars. These aren't just any stars, but the best of the best the cream of the cosmic crop. They're the ones most likely to host life, at least according to our current understanding of what life requires. So which stars make the cut? Let's dive into the top five picks for potential life-hosting stars. At the top of the list, we have Beta Canum Venaticorum. The unique qualities of this star make it a fascinating subject in our cosmic quest. A sun-like star, Beta Canum Venaticorum, or Beta CVN for short, resides in the constellation Canes Venetici, roughly 26 light years from us. It's a member of the stellar elite, a select group of stars that have the potential to support habitable systems. Beta CVN possesses several crucial characteristics that caught the attention of esteemed astronomer Margaret Turnbull. It's at least 3 billion years old, giving planets and life ample time to evolve. It has a mass no more than one and a half times that of our sun and its metal content is at least 40% that of our sun. These factors align to create an environment that could potentially support life as we know it. Though it's 26 light years away, this star's similarity to our sun makes it a promising candidate for hosting life. Next up is HD 10307, a near replica of our sun. This star is exceptionally intriguing due to its striking similarity to our own life-giving star. You see HD 10307 shares nearly the same mass, temperature, and metal content as the Sun, making it an ideal candidate for supporting life as we know it. Located about 42 light-years away, HD 10307 isn't just a solitary star, it's a binary star system with a companion star in tow. This celestial duo could provide a unique environment for potential life forms. It's also worth noting that HD 10307 is mature enough to support life, with an estimated age surpassing 3 billion years. It's had ample time for planets to form and life to possibly evolve. Given these characteristics, HD 10307 seems like a promising prospect in our quest to find extraterrestrial life. With almost the same mass, temperature, and metal content as the Sun, HD 10307 is another star worth watching. Third on our list is HD 211,415 inches. This star, a little cooler, and with half the metal content of our Sun, is just slightly farther away than HD 10307. Now you might wonder, why does metal content matter? Well, it's believed that a higher metallicity, or metal content, can increase the likelihood of planet formation, including potentially habitable ones. But don't let HD 211415's lower metal content fool you. This doesn't rule out the possibility of planets. In fact, it makes the search even more intriguing. Now, onto its temperature. A cooler star might mean a different habitable zone, the area around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. This could mean that any potential life on planets around HD 211415 would need to adapt to different conditions than those on Earth. HD 211415's unique characteristics make it a fascinating candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. Next, we have 18 Sco, a near-identical twin of the Sun. Nestled within the constellation Scorpio, this star is almost a mirror image of our own life-giving Sun. With its strikingly similar properties, 18 Sco presents an intriguing prospect in the quest for extraterrestrial life. Its mass, temperature, and spectral type closely mirror those of our Sun. 
This uncanny resemblance suggests that 18 SCO could potentially host a planetary system with Earth-like conditions. Aging at about the same rate as our Sun, this star has had ample time for life to evolve on any potential planets within its habitable zone. Moreover, 18 SCO has shown to possess a relatively calm and stable nature. This stability is a crucial factor in supporting life as it provides a consistent energy source for potential life forms to evolve and thrive. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, the resemblance of 18 SCO to our Sun adds a dash of familiarity to our interstellar pursuit. A near-perfect match to our Sun, 18 SCO is another promising star in our search for life. Last but not least, we have 51 Pegasus. Welcome to a fascinating celestial body that has already etched its place in the annals of space exploration. 51 Pegasus, named after the constellation it resides in, holds a special distinction. It was around this star, in the year 1995, that the first planet beyond our solar system was detected, a discovery that marked a significant milestone in our quest to understand the universe. The planet, known as 51 Pegasi b, is a gas giant similar to Jupiter. However, don't be quick to dismiss this star system as a potential cradle of life. Astronomer Margaret Turnbull, who has dedicated her career to seeking out stars that could support habitable systems, believes that 51 Pegasus could harbor rocky planets as well. Let's delve a bit deeper into the star's characteristics. 51 Pegasus is a yellow dwarf, much like our sun. It's about 50 light years away from us, which, in cosmic terms, places it in our galactic neighborhood. Its age is estimated to be around 6 to 8 billion years old, suggesting ample time for life to have potentially developed on any of its planets. One of the intriguing aspects of 51 Pegasus is its metallicity. This refers to the proportion of elements heavier than hydrogen and helium in a star. A higher metallicity is thought to increase the likelihood of planet formation, especially terrestrial or rocky planets. And guess what? 51 Pegasus has a metallicity at least 40% that of our Sun, making it a promising candidate for the existence of such planets. It's important to note that these speculations are yet to be confirmed. Even so, the potential of 51 Pegasus continues to fuel our curiosity and drive our exploration efforts. And who knows? With advanced technologies like the Allen Telescope Array offering a wider frequency range, we might soon uncover more secrets this star holds. 51 Pegasus, with its potential for rocky planets, concludes our top five list of stars that might just hold the key to finding extraterrestrial life. While these stars have been surveyed in the past without success, the future holds promise. The quest to unfold the mysteries of the cosmos is far from over. We're on the brink of monumental breakthroughs, thanks to the potential of two key players in this interstellar saga, the Allen Telescope Array and NASA's Terrestrial Planet Finder. The Allen Telescope Array, a radio interferometer, is set to expand our listening range like never before. Where previous efforts like Project Phoenix fell short, the Allen Telescope Array is expected to excel. With a frequency range up to five times that of Project Phoenix, it dramatically increases our odds of detecting signals from potentially habitable planets around these stars. Think of it as tuning into a wider band on your radio, broadening our chance to catch that cosmic whisper that says, we're not alone. But it's not just about listening. It's about looking, too. And that's where NASA's Terrestrial Planet Finder comes into play. This ambitious project aims to directly observe extrasolar terrestrial planets, small, rocky worlds similar to Earth and Mars. The goal is to detect these planets, study their atmospheric composition, and even search for signs of biological activity. Imagine that. We could potentially gaze upon a world trillions of miles away, analyze its atmosphere, and maybe, just maybe, detect signs of life. It's like having a telescope that not only shows us distant stars, but also lets us peek into their backyards to see if anyone's home. And these targets, Beta Canum Venaticorum, HD 10307, HD 211415, 18 SCO, and 51 Pegasus are just the beginning. As we refine our techniques and technology, more stars will come under scrutiny their secrets laid bare for us to decipher. As technology advances, who knows what we might discover in these promising stellar systems. Stay tuned for the second part, where we'll uncover more stars that are good candidates for life. The universe is vast and filled with mysteries, but with each passing day, we're getting a little closer to answering the question that has captivated humanity for millennia. Are we alone?